Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to make second assembly part 2 for vertical Stirling engine. So let's start. Select our first assembly. We created this assembly in our last in our last tutorial lecture. So now we will go go for assembly part 2. Insert component, browse. and select support link holder part 1 just rotate the component ok now select mat select inner radius and this radius ok now select this inside hole and hole of this support link ok select this face and this face ok now the support link holder is attached now we will browse part 2 flow shaft insert component browse flow shaft we will fix it back side select mat select this inside ok now select this circle and select this circle ok select this face and select this face click ok now the flow shaft is attached with the body ok now insert another component transfer cylinder transfer cylinder now this we will fix it here keep remember this hole keep down so select this inside radius in inside hole choose mat select this make reverse click ok now select this hole and select this hole ok now select this outer surface of base support stand and this ok now it see it is fixed our transfer cylinder fix with the base stand support ok now insert another component browse base support support link open Now select this inside radius mat and choose this click ok. Now select this outer surface go to here select this outer surface ok. Now our support link is fixed with support link holder ok. Now insert another component, support base, base support, now select this inside ho hole, choose mat and select, ok, now select this inside hole and this ok now select this this plane and the back side of base support 
now it is see it is matched click ok so our assembly part 2 is ready I hope you enjoyed this assembly please subscribe our channel for more videos and more projects in SOLIDWORKS this is ongoing project of vertical sterling engine thanks for watching